the Gungan Sub. This kind of submersible is a common utility transport in Oda Gunga. The forward cockpit bubble carries only a pilot and passengers, but the side bubbles can carry either passengers or cargo, depending on whether they are fitted with seats. The sub's distinctive form originates from both the Gungans' constructive methods and their love of artistic design. The Gungans produce many of their structures using a secret method that actually grows the basic skeletons or shells of buildings or vehicles. This gives Gungan construction a distinctive organic look, which is then complemented by artistic detail even on simple vehicles like the sub. Gungan organically generated shells can be combined to make complex constructions and then modified and fitted with electronic and mechanical components to give them the needed functionality. The organic skeletons are exceptionally strong, though still susceptible to damage by some of the larger sea monsters encountered in deeper waters. The subs are manufactured by the Oda Gunga Bonga Mekin Cooperative and are a tri-bubble bongo model at 15 meters long. The sub uses rotating fins to cycle water through an electromotive field that actually drives the ship. The fins contain flat, flexible electronic units linked in series, which send electrical impulses down their length, pushing water along. Combined with the rotating fins, this electromotive field can grab onto and displace a great deal of water, hurtling the sub through the sea at great speed. The power unit just inside the rear of the sub provides primary power for the electromotive field and the cockpit field generators. The sub's repulsor lift discs on the underside are typically only used for launch and docking, while the electromotive field is not in use. The dome at the base of the fin both rotates them and provides power impulses for the electromotive field. A forward diving plane is also equipped with an electromotive field for greater effectiveness. The rectangular cargo containers in the cargo pods of the sub are Naboo made. While the leaders of Naboo and the Gungans have little contact, out of necessity a significant amount of trade goes on at the fringes of each society. And just as Naboo trade goods are vital in underwater cities of the Gungans, Gungan products and food supplies are vital to the Naboo people. The two societies pretend not to need each other, but are actually greatly intertwined.